we all have goals, right? So with our investment, with our money that we're saving, there's a certain goal in mind. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, a picture on the dashboard of what is driving us for this money. Today I'm going to talk about how that can affect your risk tolerance. So investing is really all about discipline, saving money and putting it away for future needs is about discipline. So you want to make sure you understand your goal. Why are you delaying this gratification, putting this money away for another day? So that's where goals comes into play. If you have goals of one day starting your own business, well, you've got to save up for those startup costs. If you have goals to one day pass on an inheritance, you've got to have money to pass down eventually, which means you also have to have money to sustain your lifestyle in the meantime. So goals are a big factor in determining your risk tolerance. For example, a college account is typically an account that's got the goal built into it. It is meant to fund college for a college student. Retirement account is meant to fund retirement. You can have a play account that the goal is to save enough money to buy a boat or something like that. So your goal matters for determining your risk tolerance. I've said this in a couple of episodes before, but again, my goal, ideally, when I'm in retirement, I want to have enough money to where I can take as much risk in my account as I want because I'm going to be okay either way. So my goal would be to pass on as much as possible. Some people don't can't afford that luxury. Their goal is simply to live in retirement. So for certain people, they can't afford to take on extra risk because they're counting on that money to be there in the near future. So their goal is simply to have enough money to live on. That's a scenario where maybe they can't afford to take the extra risks. So they pay back the risk so that they can kind of count on that money being there so that they're not out in the streets one day. Goals matter your age understanding investments in the history, as well as many other factors go into determining your risk tolerance. But if you have any questions about your risk tolerance, feel free to ask me what I think you should do. Uh, I'm a believer in stocks over bonds in the long run, and for me, I kind of approach investing with that mindset. But uh, let me know in the comments, and I hope to talk to you soon.